Is this thing on? Alright guys, this is Sean from Project Beyond, and I wanted to make a little bit of a different video today. Usually my videos are very vlog type or, uh, you know, mod installation, stuff like that. Today we're making it a little bit different. I would say it's a video reaction, although I'm not going to leave the video in the description. I'm not going to say who made the video or anything like that. But it's not just him, it's several people here on YouTube are very upset about the V6 going away for 2018. And I myself was a little shocked, a little perturbed when the news did come out. But I've never once gotten angry about it necessarily because I already have a current generation V6 as do these other people. So I'm not really sure what they're upset about. Um, if they were hoping to hop into a 2018 V6, uh, you know, maybe they could be upset. But other than that, they're really just bitching the bitch, um, to be honest with you. I'm going to tell you, and the common consensus is, why did they get rid of the V6? Everybody loves the V6. Blah, 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 blah. Well, let me tell you why. So, we're moving into the future. It's 2017. The future is hybrid cars, electric cars, um, not gas guzzlers, not big old dually trucks, not big old V8 engines pumping out, you know, 800 horsepower, just killing gas and everything like that. The future is more efficient vehicles that lessen the damage to the environment. And trust me, I am not one of those people who drives a Prius and wants to, you know, do this and, and that and make the world a better place and have a better environment and global warming. Trust me, that's not me at all. However, that is the way the world's going. And one bit of advice to these people is you have to see the trends. If you ever want to be successful, you got to see the trends. And it's been trending this way for the last couple of years. So you just kind of got to watch, see the trends, find out what's happening and why it's happening. So moving on from that, they now offer the four cylinder EcoBoost Mustang in the V8. Now, another common thing is they said, why didn't they do away with the, Eco, the four cylinder EcoBoost and just do a turbo V6? If they were to create a turbo V6, not only would it be more expensive than the turbo four, it would be in the same class as the V8 engine. It would be very close in performance to the V8 unless they dumbed it down and even even if they did dumb it down all they would have to do is you know when they release the car people would be tuning the hell out of them just like they're doing the EcoBoost Mustangs and they would be pumping out horsepower and torque numbers close to the V8 so you're selling a car with the performance of the V8 at a much lower rate than the V8 that's gonna kill your V8 sales right not only that you know, you look at it even now with the four-cylinder EcoBoost, the torque numbers are ridiculous. Um, I've seen them as high as 390 torque, foot-pounds of torque. That's getting up into the GT range. That's right up there at the GT range. So, if they were to do a V6 turbo, it would just, it would kill the V8 cells. There would be no point. And they would lose money because people would be going for the Turbo 6 other than the yeah, it just wouldn't be affordable and it wouldn't be good for Ford. So with that being said, you know, they got to do the four-cylinder EcoBoost. Another thing, big thing with the S550s was international sales. If you noticed, um, if I'm not mistaken, the S550 was the first Mustang to sell in Europe or worldwide. I, I can't remember. Don't quote me on that. But it was a big deal when they came out with the four-cylinder EcoBoost and it was a big deal when they were able to sell it in all these different countries and it was embraced warmly. Um, so that was another thing, an international market. They're broadening their horizons. People in Europe, people in these other countries, they're not driving big gas guzzling V8s. They're driving EcoBoost cars. They're driving Priuses. They're driving, maybe not Priuses, but you know what I mean. They're driving more efficient cars. They think a little bit differently than we do here in America. So they are really trying to broaden their market. So although I'm sad the V6 is leaving, I understand the reasons why. And I'm okay because I have a V6 Mustang. Now the aftermarket support, does that kind of suck? Um, yes, since I don't think it, they'll be coming out with a bunch of new stuff for the V6. However, you can't really invent anything new with a naturally aspirated engine. I mean, everything is pretty much already there. You know, you've got your cold air intakes, you've got your exhaust, you've got your, we even have a Pro Charger. Pro Charger made a kit for our V6. That's a blessing in itself. You know, you've got your cold air intakes, your exhaust, your pro chargers. Um, you know, all the modifications you could think of doing to the V6 S550, 
they are available right now. I can't really see anything brand new, any brand new ideas coming out to modify it. So as far as the aftermarket support, does it suck that we probably won't get a bunch of new stuff performance wise? Yeah, but I mean, there's nothing really to reinvent. Um, as far as appearance stuff, it's all the same body. We can use GT's bodies, you know, we can use their bumpers, side fenders, all that good stuff. So that's not a problem. And all the appearance stuff we're going to be able to use as well. So I just want to make that little video because there was a lot of people kind of complaining about them killing the V6 and why they're not doing a twin turbo V6 and this, that, and the other. And that's pretty much why. Um, definitely want to get you guys in the comment box. Tell me your thoughts below. Have you had any friends complaining about the V6 being killed? Let me know down below. What's your opinion? Do you think it's a step in the right direction for Ford? And if so, why? If you think it is a step back, please leave it down below in the comment section. I want to hear your comments. Get in the comment box. Let's make it hot. Let's make it live. Remember, always go beyond the expectations.